There's just something about players and when they have that story, that background, where they really had to grind it out, Deuce, and Isaac Jones is one of those guys. It's really amazing. Out of high school, he wasn't playing basketball. He was working at a loading dock. And then his buddy, who went to a junior college, he went to go try out, and the coach said, I'm sorry, you got you don't even want that <laughs> six, eight, six, nine, we can use some size. Brings Isaac Jones out there. He was out of shape. He couldn't dunk, and here he is. Wow. Grinding his way. He spent three years in junior college, then he went to Idaho, then he went to Washington State, and then you think about the grind continues. Yep. Over the summer, he gets invited to that G League elite camp, gets the attention of the NBA scouts, then gets the invite to the combine, which leads to an opportunity with the Sacramento Kings. Pretty crazy to think about his journey that's just getting started. But you also, exactly, that is just getting started because you think about even the California Classic. You and I were calling some of those games that he was playing and he looked much more raw than he even does now. Yeah. What is it about his game that you think that he has to really just keep evolving, especially at this pace. Well, he's got a tremendous feel, and we're going to break it down and look oh. at what Isaac Jones did against the Minnesota Timberwolves coming off the Kings bench last game, and he did some really nice things. And what's apparent is just his size and feel of the game. We break it down. Ooh, break it down, it's dude. It's like Degeneration X. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So who is he? Let's take a look at what Isaac Jones did in that matchup. We have four plays. We'll start on offense here. And this is just great. Having someone that has the ability to attack a big, and he doesn't catch a clean plat pass here. So he puts the ball on the floor. Love Goes that. at Gobert's chest. But again, this guy can contest. He found a way to finish. And then this action, I really like this play. He does a great job setting the screen here. Keon's able to get a step on Ant. Gobert's got to help. Look at that finish. The control. Yes, the control by Isaac Jones. And then I like this in the two-man game with Fox. De'Aaron's going to command so much attention. Two defenders on him. And who is the low man? It's Rob Dillingham. He's tiny. So what does Isaac Jones do? He goes and dunks the ball. And then defensively, <laughs> He switched on the ant. Okay, this could be trouble. Anthony Edwards gets a step on him, but he's able to get back in the play and use his wingspan, 7-3 wingspan, to alter that shot. Isaac Jones has something that the Kings have lacked for a long time, and that is size, 7-3 wingspan, 6-8, six, 6-9. Six, in the G League, has shown some confidence to step out and hit threes. That'll be the next evolution of his game. Yep. But what Mike Brown's looking for is someone that's going to contest shots, be vertical at the rim, make plays, go dunk the ball. I like Isaac Jones. I